What do you think about school opening up in um, the end of August? Too early? Not too early? I think it's the right time. It's the right thing to do. I don't think we have enough. Uh, we have enough research evidence to support that uh, the harm of not opening for kids is higher than actually not opening and getting the kids and uh, not going to school, not socializing, missing an important milestone. So I think it's necessary. Uh, the kids who have been out of school since March are affected just because they don't have that group setting. So I think it's really important that we get schools back in August, especially for the kids and for the parents. It, it's going to get a sense of norm. It's going to give a sense of normalcy. Actually, I'm so excited about that. I was waiting to see the plan from the minister and I'm not sure if it's the best plan, but still I'm, I'm happy that they're going back to school. I, I don't think it's the right moment. Um, I think, uh, you know, if anything, if you look at statistics, if kids get sick, it's okay for them. It's probably like a little, you know, cold or something, but then they can, you know, they can still get it back to their grandparents or people that are at risk. And I'm not a public health expert, right? And I think given that coronavirus is like always changing, um, it's something that we're going to have to defer to public health expertise to get an answer on and I just trust that they're making the right decisions here. I don't think the whole classroom bubbles are the best strategy. I think we should think of a system of taking smaller groups because each child is not only has not only their classroom as a bubble, right? So each child has their family system and that expands the bubbles exponentially. The bubble is going to have to be expanded to the whole classroom. The one thing that they need to do is keep the kids in the classroom and they don't move around. Having them all together at one class, it's something that still I'm thinking it's kind of it's kind of concern, you know. I'm not so kind of comfortable with that. I, I think that the amount of germs that happen in the classroom, um, the kids should be protected against them. I think that all kids from what is it, grade two or grade three from the age of like eight should be required to wear masks? I think masks should be mandatory in any indoor spaces, especially when, uh, you know, it starts to get colder and uh, the, the windows are closed and there's not much air uh, circulation. I mean, they can try. I don't know if the kids are going to comply with it. You know, there's persons with disabilities who have to speech read and lip read. And if people are wearing cloth masks rather than clear mask variants, it's going to be quite difficult for people that, you know, communicate through lip reading and speech reading to, you know, get the sort of education that they need. It's tough if you wear lenses or glasses, then, you know, they, they get all foggy and all that. I, it'll be difficult, it'll be hard to manage, and then it's another distraction for the kids. It'll be, you know, the teacher's trying to teach them something specific, and then now he has to deal with, or, he, or she has to deal with kids not using their mask or, you know, poking their nose or playing with somebody, right? Do you have kids? Yes. And? And they are going back to school for sure. They're looking forward to it. They're counting the days. They miss their friends. They miss uh, the routine of having a place to go. That's the fear that I have is that we're, we're, it's an experiment. So, so they're doing a social experiment and uh, it's going to end up, kids are going to start getting infected. Classrooms are going to get infected. Teachers are going to get infected, infecting, infecting, infecting.